Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you again for joining me for another video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to Glam Tam. My name is Tamara. I make beauty videos as well as Christian videos, Christian content because I am a Christian. So I make videos based off experience or based off something I'm going through just to help you guys and encourage you guys so I know I am not alone out here. So today's video, we are going to be talking about fear. And fear to me is like such a short word, but we take it like so serious because it can like make or break you. I think everyone out there honestly has a fear of some sort. Like I don't care how big and bad you think you is, like you have a fear of something. Whether it's a common fear like darkness or heights, I personally have a huge fear of spiders. I don't think spiders belong here on earth. I think they fell from heaven with Satan. That's just me, but that's a huge fear of mine. But anyways, besides the common fears that are out there, a fear that I'm going to be talking about today, and I feel like a lot of Christians struggle with this, is the fear of stepping out on faith and doing what God called you to do. I feel like a lot of times people fear to do whatever God placed in their heart to do because they're scared of failure. Number one, they're also scared of what people are going to think and say about them. They're also scared because they don't know what's going to happen. They don't know the process and they can't see the end of it. And so it's hard to start from the beginning when you can't even see the end. And so I feel like one passage in the Bible that I'm going to be coming from today. And this is a passage that I read a while ago and I'm going to read it to you guys first and then explain to you why I feel like we can apply it whenever it comes to faith over fear and stepping out on faith. And so this is Luke chapter 8 verses 22 through 25. And this is when Jesus calms the storm while he was in the boat with his disciples. So starting in verse 22, it says, One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into the boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped, and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the waging waters. The storm subsided, and all was calm. Where is your faith? He asked the disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the wind and the water, and they obeyed him. I love this passage because it's actually pretty funny the way that I read it. And it's like, Jesus, number one, in verse 22, it says, One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side. And so before they even got into the boat, whenever they were chilling or doing whatever they were doing before they got into the boat, Jesus knew they were going to get to the other side because he said it. He said, let's go. We're going to the other side. Let's get in the boat and go. And so the way I picture things, like <laughs> the way I picture things, I think Jesus was like, all right, we're in the boat. We're going to get there. So he's thinking it's like a road trip. You know how when you're ever on the road and um, someone else is driving or you're just kind of cruising, you kind of fall asleep. You know, you get tired. So I feel like Jesus, he got tired. He was like, all right, let me take this time and take me a little nap. And I'm pretty sure Jesus knew that the storm was happening. The waves were like rocking. Like Jesus, he was chipping over that storm. Like he, he was cooling it. He was asleep, like knocked out. So Jesus is asleep and the storm comes. And the storm number one is no surprise to Jesus. At the end of the day, he still said, we're gonna go to the other side. So no matter what, they're gonna get there. And so as the storm is going on, the disciples are like, um, hello, Jesus, wake up. You're like, you're over here knocked out and we're about to drown. What are you going to do? Help me. Help us. Like, I'm not going to lie. I probably would have been right there with the disciples, like tripping. I probably would have been picking up my phone, calling 911, like, hello, operator. Hi. Yes. Yeah. We're in the middle of the ocean and there's this huge storm and we're in the boat. Um, are we alone? No, we're not alone. Jesus is here. But at the end of the day, he's asleep. And so I need you guys, I don't know how long he's going to be asleep, but I need you guys to come get us. Yeah, and it's me and it's like the rest of the disciples. So get something that's like big enough for us. <laughs> I probably would have been like <laughs> trying to figure things out myself. So Jesus wakes up and he's just like, peace be still. And everything just calms down. And so after the way I picture things, after everything calmed down, Jesus probably turned around and looked at them and was like, really y'all woke me up for this i was sleeping good and y'all woke me up because the storm came even though i said we were gonna get to the other side y'all tripping in the other gospels i think matthew mark and john it says something like why are you so afraid where is your faith so i feel like we can apply this whenever it comes to stepping on faith and doing what god says in the first place god is going to be with us no matter what so whenever it comes to stepping on faith 
Number one, God knows our purpose in life. He created us for a reason and he has a plan. I know I say this all the time. He has a purpose for our lives. And so he's with us. And so whenever he says, all right, I need you to do this or go ahead and start that. He knows where we're going to go. You know, he knows what's going to happen. He knows how we're going to get there. We have these ideas and desires for a reason. Like they didn't just pop up out of nowhere. I believe that whenever it comes to spiritually doing whatever God called you to do, he gives us our gifts and he gives us our talents to be able to operate in those. Whenever he gives us a vision or gives us an idea, God is saying to us, all right, let's go. Let's go ahead and start. Um, yeah, he might not show us the end. He might not show us how everything is going to work out. And yeah, there might be some storms that's going to come up. So whenever God is telling you to go or to start whatever it is that he put in your heart to do, that in itself is just a huge way of him saying you do not have to fear because I am with you. Why are you so afraid? Have faith in me because I'm the one that's telling you to go and I'm going to be with you the whole step of the way. You know, just like Jesus was still with his disciples, yeah, even though he was asleep, he was still with them. And also know that you already have the gift. For example, if you like to sing and God is telling you to write a song, you already have the voice. To be able to sing that song you know rather you have the idea to write a book or to start a podcast or start your blog or start your business you're already gonna have the skills to be able to do it i feel most of the time whenever it comes to stepping on faith a lot of us are scared to because we're scared to fail i feel whenever we replace that fear with faith it allows god to come in and just do things the way that he wants them to be done when we don't have an expectation whenever we're just like all right god i'm gonna do this and I'm going to trust you with it, it allows him to do things his way, which means there is no right or wrong. There's going to be no right or wrong way for things to happen. There's going to be no failure in it. You know, at the end of the day, if God told you to do it, that in itself is a victory. It's an accomplishment because God told you to do it. And so you don't have to worry about failure. You don't have to worry about what other people are going to say, what other people are going to think. If God told you to do it, do it. You know, and stepping out on faith, that just allows you to say, all right, God, I don't know what's going to happen, but you have placed this in my heart for me to do this and I'm going to do it. I don't really know what's going to happen, but that's what faith is. You know, it says we walk by faith and not by sight. So we're going against whatever we feel in our heart and not whatever we can see with our eyes. So like the sky's the limit whenever it comes to God. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what could happen whenever you just allow God to be God? You know, and instead of trying to figure things out ourselves, instead of trying to like quit in the middle of it because it gets hard or because a storm might come up um, we, and we just give up, you know, God is going to be with us through all the storms. He's going to be with us through the process. He's going to be with us through the good times, the bad times, the hard times, the tough times. That's the same thing. But at the end of the day, just know... Stepping out of faith, you're allowing God to be with you. And so because of that, you have already won. Really quick, I just want to read one other verse that I like whenever it comes to fear. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, and it says, For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, also fear, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. And so whenever it says God did not give us a spirit of fear, whenever it comes to the fruits of the spirit and fruits that we should be bearing, fear is not one of those. So the fruits of the spirit, like love, peace, joy, patience, all that good stuff, fear is not one of those. And so whenever you're like, why am I so afraid? Fear does not come from God. That fear comes from the enemy. Satan was once living with God, but he got kicked out. So he knows God's tendencies. He knows God's characteristics. He knows his power. He knows what he can do through us. God always has victory over Satan. And so whenever God is giving you something and you feel like you have a fear, know that that fear comes from Satan. There is nothing godly in fear. Whenever you have fear, that brings like low self-esteem. It brings no confidence. It brings a lot of doubt, not only in yourself, but in God. And so they don't line up. Fear and faith do not line up. Like you're either gonna have faith and no fear or a lot of fear and no faith. Like I said before, God will help you through that fear and overcome that fear so that you can step out on faith and just completely trust him. And I'm going to share with you guys really quick, um, just a short story. Whenever I had the idea to start YouTube, I had this idea back in like 2015. So it took me almost two years to start my YouTube channel. And it was because I was afraid. And I wasn't necessarily afraid of like the beauty side. I was more so afraid of the Christian side and making Christian content. I knew that if I started a channel, I would have to honor God with my channel, which meant being completely who I am 
and not like sugarcoating it anymore or hiding it anymore and that scared me. I didn't know that I was ready to actually like completely step out there and be like 100% Christian <laughs> even though I was like reading my Bible and praying like to myself but actually sharing with people publicly um, that scared me. I was afraid of what people would have to say. I was afraid of not knowing what to say basically and so I put off starting a YouTube channel for almost two years. And there was one time I was at work, working on a client and I heard it clear as day. You know, I heard it clear as day. God was like, start your channel like this weekend, like this week. I already had videos that I filmed. I just never put them up and because I was afraid. And God was like, no, start this channel this week. And so I came home, started my channel, put up my video, and like all of a sudden, like all these ideas just started to come to me. But not only that, I was a part of a Christian YouTube event. I was featured as an Atlanta YouTuber, and that to me, I was just so blessed just to be there because I never in a million years would have thought that I would be asked to come to an event. I mean, I just started my channel like three months ago, and I'm already getting opportunities to come and be featured as a YouTuber. Like that to me, was such a blessing and that just showed that just because God told me to start and to go, he already had that planned for my life. And so he knew that was gonna happen. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys to encourage someone out there, you know, whether you're planning to start a business or planning to write a book or start a blog or write a song, whatever it is that God places in your heart to do, honor God with it, you know, stay in your Bible, continue to read scriptures and speak the verses and scriptures over your purpose over your passion over your desires and just trust god stepping out on faith is the biggest and one of the most important steps um towards your vision you never know what's going to happen you never know like i said before the sky is the limit with god you never know where he could take you you never know who he has lined up for you to meet who it is that he wants you to reach um and at the end of the day it's going to be for his glory and so I encourage you guys out there, um, if you're dealing with fear and if there's something in your heart that God has told you to do and you're afraid to start, you're fearing to start, just do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also comment down below. And I think that's all. So I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Kick the camera.